information about the types of festival among the different countries. So we will invite three different guests from different countries. So uh, let's welcome them. Um, we do like an annual circumcision festival so it's like all the boys who are like of like 12 or 13 years old they go back to like the main village where their parents are from so they get circumcised for like a week of celebration so they have to do like they have to like do a lot of things just to like prove that they're like no longer children like but they're men now so we do it every year it's like your, your whole family has to go if they can't then you're like your grandparents or your father has to be there when you're like for the whole week so they can like just be there just to watch i have to go through like challenges and stuff just to like prove yourself basically just only for boys only for boys how about festival that celebrate everyone everyone at festival we rarely have that we have one but it's like for like mostly it's mostly muslims so everybody goes for like a week like or two days of like prayers and stuff so it's like a big it's like all people in your area usually do it together so that's for like everybody, but mostly it's rare to find like a celebration for just girls. I don't think there's any for just boys, for, for, for just girls, so just just boys or for everybody together. So it's mostly that. Allah, how about you? Uh, it's the same as here. We have the two thing, which is um, Eid al-Fitr, which it comes after Ramadan, and Eid al-Adha, which comes after Hajj. And uh, the whole family comes together and everyone celebrates and they do prayers and they eat a lot of sweets and yeah and they drink a lot of <laughs> Arabian coffee which is very sour and I don't like it but yeah it's okay yeah that's it two two things okay for me I think uh, okay uh, most of the Chinese people they will spend some of the traditional festivals like Spring Festival, like uh, Mid Autumn Festival and Lantern Festival, and uh, uh, all of the family members they will gather together and then eat foods and then watching the some of the TV shows, I think, and then yep. Yeah. So how do you guys celebrate your festival? Like such a such as yeah. like like in like, what way would you celebrate it? Is there any like uh? Not ritual, but like how do you it's how, like, Christmas, like Christmas and, and New Year's and stuff does that count yeah. in us? Okay. Oh, um, for us, Christmas or New Year's is like you go to church first in the morning for both New Year's and Christmas. We go to church for Christmas Day and then New Year's Eve or New Year's Day is also like after that thing, your whole family comes back to either one, one person's house or another person's house. You have like a full celebration. But then there's this thing we do, I think it's only us for our country, I'm not sure about other countries, but. Like some of the boys, just like girls, not the girls, just like boys, just like funny outfits, and they go around like they dance for you and they give them money. So like all your people, all your male cousins will like wear our clothes. We will wear their clothes. They wear like wigs and stuff, and like they put makeup on them and they go dance around for money in the like in the neighborhood, basically. Also, guys, exchange your clothes. Yeah, it's like if, for example, Ella was a boy, she's my cousin. I will give her my clothes to her. She give me her clothes, and I wear it. And we like it's like a funny thing. So you go, you dance around, and they give you money basically. So we do that every year, Christmas and New Year's. Uh, for Eid, uh, I think both of them are the same. Uh, we prepare like week before uh, all the <clears throat> all the things that you hang out at home, uh, like like all these things, and on the day it's we you have to wake up really early like four or like three like to take a shower and to clean and like all this stuff and you like you wear like the new thing that you have of course you know like a week before preparation you go out to the malls and buy anything nice and then on the day itself uh, we go and pray for the same 
to um, Eid and then after prayer either we go out or we go to our like relatives uh, food has to be there obviously food is really important you know all the sweet stuff um, uh, the only difference I think for Eid al-Adha is that they have to sacrifice uh, like a goat or a cow or something like that and it's really delicious it's really delicious yeah that's it so do you guys have like a color to represent your festival? uh color no but you wear anything you want but it has to be you know like happy and you know they yeah they try to avoid black or you know like dark blue which is like the colors that i like to be honest and i don't care if they